Dr. D here back. Hey guys, Dr. D here back with another video. Okay, so this is my third time recording this video, and it's getting old, so I have all my guns piled up instead of pulling them out of this basket. So we're just gonna go through as fast as we can, because my phone keeps deleting the... keeps... stop letting me record stuff. So, up first is the Frost Breath. Uh, this is from my Hydra Dipping video. It's got the 12-round uh, mag, this, it racks still... And the stock, it's got a one-point sling. Yeah, okay, moving on. Sorry if this is fast-paced. Next up, this is actually supposed to be a shotgun. So this is the gun, this is the other Nerf gun that I hydro dipped in my hydro dipping video. Yeah, um, again, I'm sorry if I'm going fast, but I have to go fast, the way my phone's not letting me do stuff. Up next is my MP5. It's a broken airsoft gun. The mag actually is the battery. It used to have a rail, a tactical rail, and a scope. This is how you loaded the ammo. But I took that off because I didn't like it. Uh, you can remove the silencer or the suppressor or um, muzzle brake uh, for um, Illinois. Um, and the stock is also removable. Next up is a prop weapon I made. It's supposed to be a hunting rifle. It's got a Nerf magazine that I've modified and now it looks like a 50 cal. This is supposed to be a night, uh, a night, a moving on. I, I upgraded this stock and it's got a folded paper, uh, rolled paper butt, uh, butt pad, uh, stock pad. So, um, for, it's the same method that I used for, that is used in the shield. Uh, it's, this is a night vision scope with a light, uh, a nice handle made out of duct tape up here. And moving on. Up next is my... Uh, is the... Clone Trooper uh, Rifle Blaster. I hydro dipped this in my video. It's just pretty much duct tape. It's actually a power washer that I duct tape and now it looks like something else. Up next... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we go on with this video... I have some important important announcements to make. First off, I'm doing a giveaway. Woo! Yeah. So, have, so I'm gonna explain the prize to the giveaway in a second. So, what you have to do to get entered into the video, you have to subscribe to get entered into the giveaway. You have to subscribe to my channel, like every video that I've posted, whether you actually like it or not. And then comment down below on this video your favorite, or if comments are off on this video because I'm still trying to fix that, I'm sorry. Comments on a different video that has comments on what your favorite sword is. Specifically a sword, like, uh, not specifically a sword. A uh, melee weapon, so hammers, bows, stuff like that. And when I get the... And who I shall put it all the things, and whoever gets picked... Uh, whoever wins, I will do a live stream. I shall make their favorite weapon uh, as a live stream, and then they will get. I will uh, tweak it out. I'll customize it to to whoever it is. They can like post through the live stream, uh, and then I will ask them discreetly through some other thing, unless I know them their address, so I can send them the sword. And so yeah, that's my giveaway. Back to the video! Next up is a double barrel shotgun that I have. So, this is a over-under shotgun. These two buttons. Let it go down. Yeah, I can do it one-handed. Uh, yep, yeah, it's an over-under because the barrels are over and under. Okay, for someone else who has this uh, shotgun, what is this button for? I don't know. Uh, also, there's a pocket in the handle of the stock that has uh, liquid smoke that you put into the barrel. Still don't know what it does, because I threw away the instructions when I got it, because I was a kid, and that's what you do when you're a kid. Next up is a World War I uh, training rifle. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm pretty sure it is. Although I don't know. So it says training rifle back here. It's got this nice sling, although a bit tight. I actually put this in here because it didn't have, I put this bolt in here because it didn't have a lever to push it back. It clicks when you pull the trigger. 
yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's actually an old rifle. Really don't use it that much that often because it's a bolt action. And to be honest, I have better weapons. Uh, I'm going to save that for last. Uh, next up is an M16. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, and I can't remember the name of this. Uh, there used to be a triangle up here uh, that you, like was the gas block. It was also the sight. It broke off. I haven't been able to replace it. I actually got this at a gun show. It's 100% wooden. It's really just a thin board. I just got it. Someone actually came up to me in the middle of the gun show and asked, Hey, for those of you who don't know, gun shows where you just go to this thing and they've got a bunch of vendors who, like, show off and sell all kinds of, like, gun-related items. Uh, YouTube, please don't demonetize me for talking about this, please. Um, so, yeah, I got that, and someone came up to me and said, Hey, it looks like you need a sling for that rifle. I said, uh, How much? I really don't have that much. I really don't have any money. And he said, You know what? Just take it. It's yours. And so I got a free sling. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Up next is actually a Nerf gun that I probably should have shown. This is one of the oldest Nerf guns I have. It is a single shot bolt action rifle, air powered. It takes only the X shot darts because those are the only ones short enough to get in there. You just really pull this bolt back. I can do it. Already cocked. Oh, it is. Yeah, so you just heard that. Yep, and it. Yep. There's four extra ammo slots in the stock. There used to be a thing that goes over. Used to be like a door that goes over there. That broke off a while ago. As I said, it's quite old. Up. So all the next weapons are wooden. Up next is this pistol. It's actually technically a cane. But it needs to get fixed. Because if you look real closely, if I can get the right light. It's got a crack right below the hammer. And I need to fix that. Haven't procrastinating is awesome. But yeah, it's like really wiggling. But yeah, it's supposed to be game, but you can really just be like, ha, ah, long long pistol, bang, bang, yeah, whatever. I probably shouldn't have thrown that. Up next is a bolt action rifle that a friend of my dad's made. It is hundred percent wood except for the trigger guard and the trigger. It used to have a um what's it called? Oh, it used to have a scope, but that's the one I hydro dip. It fell off a while ago. As I said, it's 100% uh, wood. Up next is another one he made for me. It is a double barrel side-by-side, -side, because the barrels are side-by-side. -side. It's got this little thing to open up, break, op uh, break open, but it is solid wood, so it doesn't actually break open. Unless you break it open, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, everything is wood except for right here, which is metal. And then there's this thing. He put this in here, and it's supposed to be, uh, I think it kind of, it's supposed to be, I believe, a sheriff, uh, thing, and it says my name on it, but I think it kind of looks like the Route 66 sign. Uh, comment down below if you agree with me. But yeah, it's just 100% wood, real big also. The, there's a screw in the top for, uh, sighting. Sighting. He also gave me uh, shotgun shells with plugs in the end to go with it. And last but not least, this is actually one of my newest additions. Uh, this used to be a pump action shotgun that I remade. So, yeah, this is supposed to be a Spaz 12. Spaz 12's for life, man. I love the Spaz 12 because it's a nice holdable shotgun and I just think they're really cool. So yeah, it's 100% black. It's got a pistol handle. There used to be a stock. I still have the stock, actually. But yeah, that's probably one of my favorites. And to be honest, uh, that's it for this video. I'm sorry I had to kind of rush through it. Uh, because, well... I didn't have a whole lot of time to do this. Because my phone kept saying I didn't have enough space to record the videos. So I'm going to have to find some other ways of recording this, or I'm gonna have to get a new SD card just so I can record videos. Yeah, so hopefully this was entertaining. Uh, comment down below. I should have put up my uh, advertisement for my thing. Comment down below your favorite weapon. Be sure to comment, leave a like, and I'll see y'all next time.